everyone, Daniel Webster here from Pogna.com. And about a week ago, I actually picked up a one terabyte hard drive. And of course, all sensitive electronic equipment is encased in these anti-static films, which is just like this. And the one thing that I never noticed is that you can actually use these anti-static films as a rudimentary stylus. So I discovered this today while fooling around with my device. So this works with capacitive touchscreens because the anti-static film actually creates its own electricity just like your finger. So as you can see, I can use my finger to scroll up and down, but I can also create a stylus out of this anti-static film. Okay, so I've rolled my anti-static film into some sort of cylindrical shape, kind of like a stylus. And a couple of months ago or so, Brandon actually showed how you can get these capacitive styluses on eBay for a few bucks. But why spend any money at all? We can probably just create your own for free. So as you can see, it does work pretty well as a stylus. I can scroll up and down. I can go to my start menu here. If I want to look at my photos, just click on there. And as you can see, I'm not touching it with my fingers at all, but I am going to show you how the multi-touch works. Okay, so with the image loaded, I can actually use the stylus and my finger to zoom in and zoom out. As you can see, it works pretty well. I can also double tap and go back. And it works pretty well as a stylus, surprisingly. So if you're ever in a situation where you need to wear gloves and also operate your device, like if you were skiing or snowboarding or whatnot, just whip out a piece of anti-static film and create your own stylus out of pretty much nothing. Okay, so there you have it. Just a quick and cheap way to create a stylus from a piece of anti-static film. Of course, maybe in the future someone cre could create a screen protector that you could actually use a pen on because I've noticed that you can scroll sometimes with a pen if you use this anti-static film. So anyways, thanks for watching.